Welcome back, everyone. Well, Marissa, the weather was gorgeous this weekend, so perfect for a little baseball. Absolutely, Mark, <laughs> and things actually wrapping up in Mandan today as the Seven Seas and Montana Mike's Tournament comes to an end. The Bismarck Governors had a strong showing. They were 2-1 and one on the weekend heading into today. Their last game this afternoon against Grafton. Now, top of the third, Bismarck up 2-1, to one, and Cole Bauer crushes one to left. That'll bring home Jared Spooner, and the Govs are up 3-1. to one. Bismarck hoping to go on a little bit of a roll from there, but with the bases loaded and two outs, Brett Longton on Grafton makes the great sliding catch in right center to end the inning. Top of the fourth we go. Trenton Bohan rips one up the middle. Brandon Giesler scores, and Bismarck is up 4-1. to one. Grafton looking to get some runs on the board. Luke Huckert pops it up to left. He can't make the catch there. Two runs come in, and post 41 only down 4-2-3. It wouldn't be enough, though. Governors get the win 7-5. to five. A solid outing this weekend for Bismarck. 3-1 three three and one overall in the tournament. And the Mandan Chiefs also having a good weekend. They had the last game of the tourney today against Pierre. Pierre, excuse me, starting in the top of the first. Cash Anderson wraps one down the line. This one goes all the way to the fence, and Pierre would score the game's first run in the next inning. Pierre adding to their lead. Justin Burheim gets the chopper past the second baseman. Connor Ryan scores, and post eight takes a two-run lead in the bottom of the second now. Jared Walters gets the Chiefs on the board with a two RBI single through the infield, part of a four-run inning for Mandan. And in the fourth, Pierre will get one back. Bennett eyes and buys with the RBI single. This one is wrapping up right now at Memorial Field in Mandan. Mandan's up six to three. We'll have the final score for you later tonight. Now, most people will never visit all 50 states in their lifetime, but one softball umpire is making it his goal to not only go to each state, but ump a game there. Tim Saban was in Mandan this weekend to umpire in the Rugrat Tournament. The Cincinnati native decided to start this feat back in 2003. So far, he's been to 43 states, and he says he tries to spend some time getting to know the people and places in each one. Well, then they wanted to go. Umpiring's a big fraternity, so it, it, people you know, are well welcoming. You, you always have someone to uh, rely on when you get to a new city. Enjoy umpiring softball. I get to meet a lot of nice people. Steven says he has no timeline for when he'd like to finish his trip, but he's planning to end in Hawaii. He's heading to Nebraska next. The Minnesota Twins went into today's game in last place in the AL Central, but after a big win yesterday, they were trying to take game three of their series against the Houston Astros this afternoon. Heading out to target field, Twins already down five zip in the bottom of the fourth, but Eduardo Nunez hits a bomb into the bullpen. Twins are on the board now five to one. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. Trevor Plouffe slices it right by the shortstop. Takes a little bit of time for the Astros to get there. Santana's going to score. The Twins now only down five to two. Same inning, Josh Willingham to center. That'll bring home another run. Twins down five to three. Hoping to go on a little bit of a roll now, but Chris Carter making that kind of difficult for them. That'll go into right field, and that's a grand slam. Astros go up nine to three. They'd go on to win the game 14 to five. And now the Royals won today, so the Twins are still in last place, but right on the Royals' heels. The Miami Heat and San Antonio Spurs are back in action tonight for game two of the NBA Finals. Spurs took game one, 110 to 92. The big story there, of course, LeBron James coming out of the game with cramps down the stretch, suspected heat exha exhaustion from a broken air conditioner in the arena. But the AC has been fixed for game two, and Miami knows they need James on the floor during crunch time. Hobble up, he's cramping up. You, know, you have to try to put your mind in that mindset. And uh, for me, I did in game one. And I, was, I went to the tank, was empty, and used the reserve tank and until my body just couldn't go no more. It's not just about making the pass. It's just uh, it's about moving the ball and, and uh, getting it to the person that might get it to the person. Uh, if we had hockey assists, I think our team would, 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 would lead the league in hockey assists because we keep moving the ball and keep moving, moving bodies. Tip-off for game two from the AT&T Center in San Antonio is tonight at 7 o'clock Central. So that should be interesting. A good series there, rematch of last year. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. I think you just knocked your first sports broadcast <laughs> yeah, out of the park. Amazing. <laughs> oh, All thanks, right. guys. We'll be right back after the break. Stay with us.